You guys, check this out. Ready, Annie? Load up. Good girl, Annie. Good girl. She's growing so fast. <laughs> It's here. Happy freaking Saturday. There we go. Back in action. Much better. All right, now for today's main objective. Second off, about 10 minutes ago, Annie, for the first time with her new dog food, uh, and it's been a couple days, she threw up. Guess what I found in her puke? Louie the roundworm. Ah! Ah! And he was coiled up like a spring, and I threw him in the refrigerator, and now he's unraveled. And he got worms. Aw. It's okay. We're going to take you to the vet. Sick. Look how unraveled he is now. That sucker's like four inches long. Ugh. Poor girl. What were you thinking, Louie? Huh? You're going straight to worm hell, Louie. You ain't gonna live in my dog Annie's belly no more. There's a vet clinic about 10 minutes away, but being a Saturday, they're only open till noon. They're completely booked on appointments for today, but they said we can get some worm medicine over the counter. So let's get to the vet and get Annie started on her road to recovery. Let's go. Alright, Annie, you ready for this? Your first time at the vet with me. Here's really the second year. Oh, okay. Any worm treatment? Okay. What kind of worms do I see? Um, actually, I have it with me. Perfect. Round worm, it was coiled up, yep. and I put it in the fridge, and then it uncoiled. That is what it is. Do you want me to toss this one, or do you want uh, that? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. It can be tossed. <laughs> she don't want it back? I don't need to keep it. What about uh, humans getting the worms? Only if you eat their feces. Only if you eat their feces. Okay, because she's licked me a lot. And I just want to make I know, sure. It's like, and I just God. found out this morning. So yeah, no, okay, you be fine. okay, awesome. One cc per each fifteen pounds. Okay. Do you think and you can't overdose on it? Absolutely safe, and it's once a week for a month. Once a week for a month. Mm -hmm. Okay. Load up. Load up, Annie. Good girl. Good girl. Wow, that wasn't actually too bad. It was completely packed in there, but we got our stuff right away and. She's a little over 15 pounds, so about one cc once a week for about four weeks, and she should be golden. It was actually only seven bucks for this, too. I was expecting it to be, you know, like some crazy, oh, $100 worm killer just because it's for dogs or something, you know. We were also a little freaked out about getting the worms ourselves, the round worms, and I didn't want Richard and Verona to get it or something either, but I would have to eat her feces in order to get it is what they said, so I don't think I've done that. At least not on purpose. I like to give her puppy kisses, and I was a little bit leery about it, so I feel a little safer about giving her kisses now. All right, let's see if we can't give her one right now. Any? Does that smell good? Yeah, you want some? This is gonna make you all better. They say that the dogs really like this stuff. There you go, drink up there, buttercup. Mmm, getting all healed. Good girl. Yeah, lick all that good stuff in. Yummy, right? There you go. Good girl, Annie. Good girl. Yeah. You'll be all fixed up in no time. <laughs> You're too cute. You're too cute. All right, well, I guess you don't need one for another week there, baby girl. You're all good for a whole week. That's pretty cool. It was a little freaky seeing that coil spring in her puke this morning, so I'm glad I got her stuff right away. Yeah, we'll be all fixed up. Third off today, that horrible squeal that Jade has had for like two years. I've had tons of comments and suggestions from you guys and I really appreciate it. I have tried a lot of things over the years and it just seems to be such an intermittent squeal. What I mean by that is some days she won't make a peep and some days she'll squeal all day. So it's been really rough trying to figure out exactly what it was. The belt that's on it currently though is about a year old and I've loosened and tightened it so many different times that it could just be getting worn out. I've replaced the idler pulley 
the power steering pulley. Check the angles and the, you know, how it's actually on there. Make sure it's not rubbing or loose or anything. I'm just gonna get a new belt today, try a different brand. This engine is notorious for the squeal, the 4.0 inline six. In reading different forms, some people have better luck with different things and I'm just gonna try a new belt. They're only about 25 bucks or something. Try a new belt today and uh, just see where that goes. Good girl, Annie. Good girl. Good girl. You did so good waiting for me. You did so good waiting for me. Awesome. Well, we got the belt. I got a couple of quarts of oil because Jade is burning about a quart. I don't know, about once a month. And it'll probably be worse when I'm actually putting a lot of miles on her when I'm on the road. I don't think I've ever had a Jeep that didn't burn a little bit of oil. If you've been keeping up on the vlogs, you know it's been so rainy like the last week and a half, two weeks out here. Like no breaks, no breaks from the rain. Ready? So, perfect sunny day to just let her run wild and... You ready? The new belt is on. Now I adjusted the tension of the belt to about a half inch deflection with your thumb and that's just going off of what I read online and the Haynes manual that I actually found online. A lot of people end up having loose belts and that's why they get that squeal but I always have made sure that mine are tight enough. Actually one time I had it too tight and actually actually tore the belt. It like snapped pretty much. Anyways, all I can really do now is start her up and see if this works. The only thing is, I have had it in the past where, like I said, I'll start her in the morning she won't squeal, you know, the entire day. And then other days she squeals from the minute I start her and then every time for the rest of the day after. So we'll see. It at least will give me a little bit of confidence if she doesn't squeal right now. I have faith in you, Jade. Don't squeal on me. I just threw on a new belt, okay? Make sure there's no wrenches or anything laying around in the engine bay. No more sippy cup moments for a while, right? No more sippy cup moments. My phone off there. There's no squeal. There's no squeal. At least for now. Five seconds later, what the heck? What the heck, Jade? No! I don't know what to, I don't know what to think anymore. All right, so Jade's squeal continues. I guess it's not the belt. Belt squeal's gone away temporarily. Now it's coming back. Figured it out, guys. It's the power steering pump pulley. When I loosen it and I change up the alignment, the squeal goes away. And when I bring it back into where you would think it should go, that's when the squeal comes back. Check this out. See that? Every time I align the pulley where it should be straight, where you think it should go, that's where the squeal really comes in strong. So I guess when I press that pulley onto the power steering pump, it's not exactly set right or something. Which that means I'd have to pull off the power steering pump and then I'd have to use some kind of press to adjust it right. I 
don't hear a squeal. But I probably have grease on my ear now. That little centerpiece is kind of your indication of how far you pressed on this power steering pump pulley. The farther it sticks out, the more pressed on the pulley is, and vice versa. So, right now you can see that this goes on the angle a little bit. Now, initially you're thinking, okay, well I should probably line that up. Well, lined up, it squeals. So I loosen this a little bit, and it's, it's, you know, it's cranked just a little bit. It's just torqued a little bit. And now that squeal's gone away. For now at least, I'm just gonna leave it. We'll see what happens with it, but I might eventually have to pull everything back apart. Now that I know that it's not the actual belt, this will be my backup belt. What are you doing, Annie? What are you doing? What you doing? Come here. Come here. She's such a good girl. Annie. <laughs> Come on, Annie. I just went and started Jade, and the squeal came back right away. Awesome. I started today's vlog by opening up a package. I'm gonna end it. And I'm gonna end today's vlog by opening up two more packages. Now these I'm real. Oh. Now these I am pumped about. Really freaking pumped. Now being that there is no more sponsorship for the suspension kit, I went ahead and ordered one. Now I haven't told you guys what brand or whatever yet, or what I even went with. Now these aren't the lift kit itself, but these are gonna be vital for doing a quality suspension swap. I'm getting a wide angle lens, and then you'll actually be able to see what I'm opening, and you can actually be able to see me. See that? Like I can't even, I can't show you what's on the table and talk at the same time. I'm getting a wider angle lens, so this will be a lot, it'll be a lot better. It'll, be a, it'll bring a new perspective to the vlog, it'll be so much better. Anyways, I'm on my knees now talking about this because you can actually see what I'm freaking doing and you can see me while I'm talking. I decided to go with Rubicon Express. They only do Jeep stuff and they were gonna be my go-to choice for a very long time. Made in the US, quality parts, lifetime warranty. Now this, these two things, this guy and this freaking guy, you can get away without having these two items but I wanted to do it the right way the first time and I was going for a long term. Now what's in the box? So right now, I'll let you guys know a little bit of update since my last vlog was kind of deep and I was, you know, I was really feeling it. I had feelings, showing my feelings and stuff. You know, since the last vlog was kind of deep and I was showing my feelings and stuff, a little bit of update. I'm feeling really good right now because I'm taking control of what's going on. I'm not waiting on someone else. I appreciate help. But I don't appreciate waiting for help that's not going to actually be there when you really need it. I appreciate real help. I give you a slip yoke eliminator. See, when you lift up your vehicle, your driveline angles get all messed up. Especially being... Ooh, nice. And you can add transfer case drops and you can add shims to correct those. But the way it handles and drives is never gonna be anywhere near getting a slip yoke eliminator and getting an extended drive shaft, a CV drive shaft. It's not cheap at all, but it'll be totally worth it. There's like no good place in here to actually get me and these bikes. Damn, standing up, ho ho! There we go. This must be the drive shaft. Oh yeah, there we go. Check that sucker out. Dang, this thing is heavy duty. I'm telling you, here, let me curl it just to make sure. Hmm, it's gotta be 25 pounds at least. I'm not exaggerating too. I've I mean, done a lot of curls in my days. Cause who does anything else besides curl? I mean, that's all I do is curl. Only curls in the gym. Yeah, that's, a, that's gotta be about 25 pounds. I mean, and that sucker's short too. They're not a very long rear drive shaft on Jeeps. I mean, they're not a very long wheelbase. This is basically, if you don't know how these exactly work, I don't either, but gives you an extra pivot point so that no matter what, you know, weird articulated 
situated situation you're on, you're gonna basically keep that driveline angle proper and you're not gonna get any vibrations and you're not gonna go through U-joints like crazy. I'm only doing a four inch lift so I probably could get away with having you know a little bit of a transfer case drop and adding some shims in back. But you know if I'm looking long term, I figure might as well just do it right the first time, you know? Do it right. I ordered these yesterday and they actually arrived today in less than 24 hours. And they're supposed to be a two day shipping. So I've ordered now my tires, uh, the drive shaft and slippy looking limiter kit and the suspension lift all from fourwheelparts.com and everything so far has came early. <laughs> everything has came early. The tires, they were supposed to get here on like a Friday and they got here on a Tuesday, three days early. These got, these were supposed to come on Monday and they came on Saturday. Everything's coming early. That being said, hopefully the suspension comes early too. If that's the case, next weekend will be kind of like a pizza beer party where we just knock out the suspension lift and get everything situated. Either way, if it doesn't get here till Monday the 31st, I'll just be working on it throughout the week to try to knock it out. Because November 5th and 6th, I have drill again. So, again, everything pushed so far behind because of all this waiting on. Now that I finally have everything ordered myself, November 6th would be November 7th, then possibly I could start the 50 state road trip after next drill. Hopefully, I really hope. But in the meantime, try to keep knocking out different projects on the Jeep, you know? Do what you can. All right, everybody, I'm gonna make some dinner and now I'm hitting the hay. Got a big day tomorrow, most likely. Just, cont oh, just continuing to work on Jeep stuff, you know? Um, <laughs> those jerry can holders, finally. That is what I really need to do tomorrow. Thanks for all the feedback. I've really been contemplating where to mount them because I really didn't want to buy another rack that would mount over the tire. Since I just got the roof rack and I have so much space up there, but again, you gotta play into, you don't wanna add too much weight on the roof though, however, because of the center of gravity issues. We'll have to see where exactly I'm mount them. We'll just have to see. Before I let you guys go tonight, I have two very special thank yous to my two newest Patreon pledges, Garrett Miller and Eliza. Garrett, Eliza, thank you guys so much for becoming my newest Patreon pledges. Really appreciate it, guys. Wranglers, as always, thank you for hanging out with us, and we'll see you tomorrow. Guess what's in the microwave? You're right, homemade clam chowder. And guess what's for dessert? Cornbread. <laughs> <laughs>